So hello everybody, it's Jail Beauty 87 here and today we're going to get into the new Pat Motor Grass Concealer and Powder. I got the shade MD23. Now if you all saw my Instagram post, if you follow Jail Beauty 87 then you know that I can't lift the powder up and show it to you. Well I mean I can but I can't open it because as you can see mine came like shattered. So it's not a dome shape anymore, it's just, you know, this dusty crusty powder. So I have it like in a bowl on the side here because... I have two days shipping from Sephora for the flash shipping, so I don't know why it took them so long to send it, but, you know, they did not. I'll send some type of way about that, um, because I didn't get it till literally yesterday. Um, I got, this, like I said, um, it's in a glass container, which I think is actually pretty cool, and it's 5 milliliters or 0 0.16 ounces, and it costs $32. I need to go ahead and put the primer on, though, because we're just going to do a full face of Pat McGrath, so I'm going to put on the primer. Then I had the foundation in Medium Deep 26, so I figured Medium Deep 23 concealer would be okay. I got the powders, of course, because y'all know I bought the whole system set. I just didn't buy the brushes because I was just like, I don't need the brushes. And then I got a new gloss from Pat McGrath. I got the um, Venomous, Venomistress one. So I did this. I look with the Carly Bible palette, so we'd already have that established. And then I could just go in and, you know, get all the other stuff done. But I forgot to put concealer on to conceal my face just for the um, video. So now I'm just going to have to work around it, if you will. I didn't put any here, thank goodness, or... My forehead if I remember correctly so we're just gonna prime those places and then I'll get to see if primer really makes a difference because some people feel like it doesn't I feel like it does and this is a hydrating one that's supposed to be for you know people with um you need hydration and I like hydration in the summertime I don't know and in the winter time but I feel like I need it more in the winter in the summer so I definitely feel like you know we got to see how this goes and I like to put concealer on ahead of time too so the lower part of my face will not be primed That'd be a good way for me to see if primer is really worth it or not. Because if it isn't, I got some stuff I can put on my card <laughs> for you all to go check out. But yeah, so I'm going to take the concealer. And like I said, this retails for $32. I'm still on the fact that this is a glass container because I didn't open it up. So I didn't know that it was. But yeah, this is what the dose it looks like. And I feel like I picked a pretty good color because this is a nice golden tone. So let's go ahead and put some of these eyes on the side. Oh, it feels really nice on the skin. I'm definitely feeling that is a vibe. Um, it's kind of reminding me of, as far as the color goes, the color maple in the hourglass one that I use. So I'm definitely liking the color match because I think that is a beautiful concealer. And I know Mother's is going to be just as nice, if not better. I have faith in Mother's. So I don't highlight the other parts of my face when I do it like too much mouth does. I just literally conceal underneath the eyes before I start. So we're going to do that. And then we'll get into concealing some more later. But, um... I'm trying to see if I can find my concealer brush. I don't think I brought it out here with me, and I normally have it. Oh, wait, no, here it is. Okay, because I thought I had left it behind, so I was like, oh, well, we just have to go on without it, but I'm going to go ahead and lightly blend it in here like that. And it's blended out pretty nicely, you know. Nice little thick consistency. I'm, I didn't know if I could leave it on for too long or not, so I was like, let's just go ahead and blend it out immediately. That's really safe, you know. Take any chances, then I'm going to go ahead and use this sponge. I had Adrian game over the room with me today, but he likes to yell and scream when he uh, doesn't win in games. And I was like, no, you're not going to be doing that in this video. So we we'll go ahead and take it back to the uh, room where you belong. So he was in here, but he had to go because he likes to yell and scream. And I'm like, when we don't do that in makeup videos. You do that in your little gaming videos. So no. Um... I just dropped the concealer, y'all. Now, I'm going to get into the foundation. Like, I told y'all I wear the color Medium Deep 26. When I originally bought it, Andrea and Renee and I bought the shade Deep 29. So, I didn't feel so bad when I saw she had bought the same one I bought. I was like, oh, okay, I don't feel so bad now. But because I bought that shade, it gave me the darkest powder they had, which is this one right here. So, I don't know if I'm going to be setting my face with this one. I think I'm just going to set it with the yellow one, number three. Um, But, yeah, so... I'm gonna go ahead and pump this on my hand. I think I'm gonna go with two pumps just because this foundation is really watery, as you can see. It kind of runs down my hand, not like ridiculously runny, but it's still pretty watery and runny. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on random parts of my face and like buff it in with the um, brush. And I have a brush that's similar to her brush that I actually got from Elf. It's only like. I think three or four dollars if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna just go ahead with that one. Put the rest on the back of the sponge. And then I will pat it in when I am done. But 
Yes, so this e.l.f. brush right here, it is called a foundation blurring brush. It looks exactly the same as the Pat McGrath brush that she um, was selling. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and just use the brush I already had. Because I already had this brush. Because I, when I first started out, I bought a whole bunch of e.l.f. brushes. So I was like, I'm just use my e.l.f. brush. It looks exactly the same and only cost me $4 as opposed to spending a whole bunch of money on brushes. For, that's one thing I just will not spend a lot of money on brushes. Oh, and if y'all were curious about the concealer brush, um... Zoeva has a dupe for her concealer brush. It's only $19. I don't know how much the Pat McGrath concealer brush is, but since it's Pat McGrath, we know it's not cheap. So I would advise you, like, if you want a brush that's similar to that brush, you might want to go get that one because, like, you already spend all the money on the concealer and the powder. That's, like, $62 on its own, and if you buy the set on her website, it's $52. But if you buy the set on her website, then you don't get to use the 10% discount, and I had a 15% coupon from Sephora, so... That's how I end up getting it from Sephora instead of her because I know I just buy her stuff from her and then I don't have the like issues that I had with powders breaking and all that stuff. But since I bought it from Sephora because they gave me an extra 5% off, I had the problem and I didn't have to send it back. So next time I know, just get it from Mother and then I don't have to worry about it because I did not have the issue when I buy things from Mother. But yeah, so those two bumps are as far as concerned doing enough for me, especially since I like... Like I told y'all, I spot concealed my face before I started, but that's because I had to do the I shot a video and I didn't want like, you know, to look like I didn't have anything on. So I just used concealer to spot treat my face. And okay, why is this foundation I want to go back in the box? It came out of the box. What is the problem? Oh wow, y'all. The so the um label for the um foundation was coming up and that's why it wasn't going. So I was like, what is the problem? We just gonna pat out the um foundation now. All over the face. You know. Um, but yeah, so. So, so far, concealer looks pretty nice underneath the foundation. But we need to see how it works on top of the foundation. Because that's when it's really going to count. Underneath it is fine. But I need to highlight the face, under the eyes, and all that good stuff. So, we're going to go ahead and do that now. I am going to be using a couple of Natasha Denona things in here. I want to do a full face with Pat McGrath. But Pat McGrath doesn't have bronzer. And um, blush, she has highlighter, but I didn't have the highlighter sticks. I prefer a powder highlighter, so I'm using Tasha's blush and um, bronzer and highlighter for this video. I figured since it was still luxury makeup, it was okay. Yeah, so we're just going to put this underneath the eyes. Now, I'm not going to leave it for a long time, because like I said, we don't know how long you can leave this and let it set. I'm just going to leave it for as long as I need to... Um, conceal the rest of the parts of my face and then I'll blend it in like that so that is the plan I'm just patting it and I didn't dip back in as you saw to um do both sides I dipped back in just to conceal the rest of my face now because I feel like I had to use everything on the brush you know I probably could have turned it over and you know do that but Casey Holmes said when she reviewed it when I first watched that you know you didn't need a lot like you could turn it over like this and be fine as you saw I just did that and you know I'm concealing the rest of the parts of my face and I had to dip back in. So she was right. I love Casey Holmes. If you all didn't know, I am a huge Casey Holmes fan. Like when she says the foundation is popular, I immediately go out and buy it. And if she says it's not, then I don't waste my time. Because she and I always have the same foundation preferences. Some people I watch, sometimes they like stuff I do. And sometimes they don't like stuff I do. So it's like. I know with Casey, it's a guarantee. That's why I'm kind of sad that she's, like, slowed down on making, like, videos. I mean, I know she's someone's mom and she runs a business, so I totally get it. But sometimes I could be like, Casey, honey, I just need you to review this so I'll know. Like, I'll know if we really want it or not. So I'll be kind of sad. But, you know, I'm happy she has Mason and, you know, we on her happily ever after situation. So, I mean, I ain't mad about it. It's just more of, you know, like, you know how you have selfish moments sometimes. And you're like, well, if she could just review this for me, you know, like. So it's just one of those type moments. It's not necessarily me trying to hate on her. It's just like, I'm like, well, Casey, I need you to review this stuff. Like, you know, you knew so well for me. You had all these videos up and now all of a sudden it's just like, oh, okay. Well, that ain't happening now. So. So. Let's blend this out a little bit more. I'm trying to decide if I want to put a third layer because y'all know I normally do like two layers of concealer. I'll do it at the beginning. I'll do it like right now, and then when I have to um 
do my cheeks or whatever then i'll go in with a third one but i'm feeling like i don't need to with this one because it's just so it's giving such amazing coverage i don't feel like i necessarily need to but i want to stay true to what i normally do and then if you do that as well then we'll see if it really wears that well throughout the day because i'm about to actually walk to the tax place since it's so close to my house so we'll see how it works in the elements today i think i'm going to the movies tonight because i um a couple movies i still want to see so i was gonna text my friends and see if they want to go with me and then if they don't you know i'll just go by myself but um i'm gonna just go ahead and put a little bit more not a whole lot like i'm probably just gonna like one two three dot on each side of the bottom since i already put on a good amount and i feel like it's giving amazing coverage but since that's what i normally do i want to like i said stay true and do that so go ahead and just highlight the rest of the parts of my face which is literally just my cheeks now so got all the concealer off there and like didn't have to dip back in or anything so that's good i'm just gonna pat the rest of this under my eye really quickly i'm hoping my under eye doesn't look too cakey because of that and then i will go in with the powder because i was about to automatically go in and do the yellow one but i had to remind myself like no she has an under eye powder you just can't use yours the way everybody else can you know like in short on camera and the pretty dome and all that because yours is broken because the four is disrespectful well yeah i hope i'm liking the way my face is looking it looks pretty amazing i'm gonna go in with the yellow powder on the rest of my face just because um like i said i don't um have um, the powder I have is too dark in my opinion. Me trying to put over my entire face. So. I've highlighted all those spots. So I'm going to go in with the yellow powder in number three. And it's this really pretty goldenish type shade. So I got to remember not to put it on your eyes. Put it everywhere else except underneath your eyes. So I'm going to highlight. I'm kind of just press. Trying to bet if I should just use foundation powder because I was thinking about using the Makeup Forever foundation powder to just set the rest of my face as opposed to this yellow one because I don't usually use yellow powders over my face and I don't know if I'm going to like the way my face looks throughout the day if I do. But, you know, we already here doing it so it's kind of late to be making these comments now, now isn't it? Um, it's this month I feel like it'll be fine. So I'm just putting this on all places on my face. I highlight it with concealer except my cheeks on all my cheeks and... My under eye, I was going to use the blurring powder just to see how that works out. But everywhere else, I'm going to go in with this yellow one and pray for the best. Because, you know, it's not like this foundation isn't already golden. So, I don't really need to put a yellow powder on. But I'm not going to put on the other powder because it's I feel like it's too dark. Because I got number five, which is the darkest one they make. And it'll probably be better for me in the summertime. But since it's winter here in Chicago, I don't want to risk it. So, I'm trying to keep it as far away from the eye as possible so I'm not even trying to get close to like the corner of where my eyeshadow is because I don't want to contaminate that area with the powder when we're supposed to be putting on the under eye powder so okay I have done that now let's finally get into the under eye powder now you see how atrocious mine looks um scared to open it because last time I opened it powder just started flying up there but yeah you guys this is what mine looks like See, the dome is literally crushed, like, dome wear. You see, like, remnants of where the dome was actually made on the side over here. But otherwise, yeah, that's dead. So, I have it in this little plastic bowl. And I just have to dip in it with that. So, did I bring my under eye brightening brush? Okay, yeah. So, I'm going to use this one right here. The Alamar Cosmetics Brightening Brush. Since, you know, this is the blurring and brightening under eye powder. And I'm dipping in it. But I'm scared because since mine is broken, I'm scared about how much I actually have to use. That's another concern I have. So I'm going to start from the bottom and then we'll do the under eye last because I'm just scared. So I'm going to go ahead and lightly tap it underneath it. Oh, okay. Pores where? Honey, pores where? You see these pores over here? I bet you don't see none over here. What are you saying? Exactly. You don't. Ma'am, pores where? Mother did that. I automatically recommend this just because I've never seen that happen on my skin. Where it's like no pores. It's like pores where? Ma'am, pores where? There are no pores. So now I'm going to take it on the other side. Like I said, pat off as much as I can. Because since it's not in the dome shape where I can just lightly brush like you're supposed to, Sephora. I don't, you know, no. Like Sephora's watching this video. They are not. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm lightly patting it. And like, yeah, it's like pores where? Like pores magically disappear when I put this in. Like. Where? Where are the pores? I don't... I've never met her. 
and she knew I, I've never met her okay so I'm gonna go into a sponge and look up and try to do my creasing situation because I felt like you can see what's creasing my eyes a little bit but that might be because I put so much on but sometimes normally what I put on I want to stay true to what I normally do so okay so now we're gonna go in with the powder directly underneath the eye and i mean i'm tapping like every single damn near bit off so it's like really just that minimum right there not a whole lot because i'm not even looking so i don't know why i'm holding here how i am like i'm just looking straight up to make sure i get any creases and everywhere okay mama yes yeah, this under eye looks nice and blurred i think she definitely did it with this I'm definitely here for it. It's definitely a vibe. I kind of want to put it all over my face now because it's just, you know, blurring everything. And the excess powder that's in the thing because we need to get all our money's worth even though they're sending me another one. But, like, you know, while we're here, we're going to get the money's worth out of here. So I dusted it off. And we're going to, like I said, we're just going to. Now I got dust particles flying in my eyes. So I don't know what that's about. Well, again, it's not mother's fault because it's not shaped the way it's supposed to be shaped the way she sent out the product because Sephora bought mine. So. Okay, so I would normally spray my face at this point and then we would finish the video, but we're just going to um, put on bronze and blush and all that and finish the video at the end because I have to test out Rihanna's setting, uh, setting spray against another setting spray. So we will be staying tuned for that. Sorry, you will be saying to me that I already know what it is. And if you follow the Jelly 87 again on Instagram, then you know what it is too. Somebody told me they were excited to see that too because they were like, hmm, they had never thought about that powder. It's like as soon as I saw it, based upon the packaging, I thought of that, not powder, Jesus, spray. So the blurring powder is, I believe that's the one that's $30 and the concealer is $32. I don't know how much is in the blurring powder. Hold on, let me. Because I got the little bag. Because of course, you must get the with a million five hundred thirty-three sequence in there like she always does. And that's how I found it was broken because as you can see, like in the container, you can see it's really dusty and it shouldn't look that way. But this powder is four grams or 0 0.14 ounces. And I got the shade dark. So for 30 bucks, I'm definitely feeling the way this powder um, blurs my under eye. As you can see, like all of this looks blurred on camera. Like where? Pores where? Like I said, I've never met her. Where? Who is she? Where is she? What? So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put this bronzer on. I normally like to spray my face. Um ahead of time to um help down the powderiness so i'm just have to i guess extra spray it because we're not going to do that like i said we're going to save the fenty video just for the fenty video itself we're not going to insert it in pat mcgrath pat will have her moment and then rihanna will have her moment everyone will have their own moment so i'm just taking a tatasha denona um bronzer palette and it does okay job in the winter time but in the summertime if you're my skin tone don't even waste your time so it's don't even it's, it's not worth it and we're going to go back in this pa palette for the um highlighter later but i'm going to use the blushing and diamonds palette to put on my blush that's because like i said pat mcgrath doesn't make blush and the she doesn't make bronzer and the highlighter stick she had i didn't buy because i'm not really big on cream highlighter like that unless i'm like mixing it with my foundation or i'm putting it on before i you know start my makeup so i'm gonna try to let me pull this up a little bit and then we'll bronze the forehead really quick but so far, I'm liking the way this concealer looks like. I'm going to try to take a few selfies and think I'm cute, especially since I got to walk to the place. I'll try to take a couple while I'm, I'm walking. I didn't take on, plan on taking my real phone. I was just going to take my old 7 with me, but it's like I might take my real phone now because I got to take some look at me. I think I'm cute selfies, if you will. So, you know. Yeah. But yeah, so, so far so good. I'm definitely feeling the concealer with the foundation. I think it looks amazing. And this blurring powder, y'all. Um, I'm so glad they sent me another one. So I have the Diamond and Blush Palette. This was on sale for $44. And then I had an extra 15% off coupon. So I was like, yes, definitely. Because it was 50% off. Because I think it's normally like $80 or $82 or something like that. But this is what it looks like. I'm sure you've seen it before. But... You know, I figured I would just go ahead and show you. So they have a cream blush, a cream highlighter, and um, 
so i guess we won't use the tan palette because this has highlighters in it too i didn't realize that but i'm kind of feeling this um gold cream right here and then the um extreme glow instead of using the diamond powder so i'm going to use the cream blush hesitantly especially since i have a cool tone eye look i don't think i want to use this blush honestly so yeah no we're not going to use the blush we're just going to use one of the highlighters because a warm tone blush with a cool tone highlight is not a vibe for me so let me go ahead and put this down and just grab this highlighter brush from sigma this is the e i uh, sorry the f 35 so i'm gonna go into the cream and maybe i should use the darker tone one what do y'all think i'm thinking about just using this one and then mix this and this with it because i feel like the yellow will be a little too bright so yeah let's just do that um and this is a cream base so Everywhere I hide, I'm going to lightly dust this cream base. And what I like about Pat, oh girl, um, jeez, uh, Natasha Denona's cream bases is, I feel like they look good even when you, um, what is it? When you have powder on already, you can just dust them on and you'll look fine. So, that's what we're doing right now. And this one actually looks pretty decent. I feel like normally they don't show up that well but maybe because it's close to my skin tone is why i feel like it looks better but this palette was made for the people that are my skin tone like medium to deep if you will so i'm gonna take it out here outside of the um powder i just had to use the only thing i hate about this is because it has the cover on it when you try to use the mirror it's a little more difficult to use but you know you take the good with the bad especially since it's you know making us look so bomb um so yeah i'm just concentrating this all around here and all around here some more height okay so we have the glow um cream on that was the first one i don't necessarily know the name so let me check on the back no it didn't, they don't have names so it doesn't matter Okay, so I'm going to take the Glow Extreme on my brush and okay, yeah, I'm feeling it. It's a vibe. And then I might do the diamond one on top of this. I don't know. We'll see how glittery this looks when I get done. Okay, so it's looking pretty nice and subtle. It's not doing a whole lot even though it's supposed to be the extreme one. But, I mean, I guess this is her extreme. I don't know. I'm thinking about putting the diamond one on top, but I'm like, since I'm just going to daytime, my eyes are already extra. I'm like, I feel like we don't need to, you know, have the highlight and everything be extra. Because lips are about to be extra, too, because it's Pat McGrath. Um, lip gloss is extra. So, yeah. I think we're going to tone it down with that. And just stick to this one we got going on. And then, you know, if I need to put some more on after I do the setting spray video, then I will. And then I'll go in with the diamond one, but I mean the sorry, the diamond powder. Cause the extreme glow isn't looking that big, but I mean it's showing my pores again now that I put that on. Before, you know, it was like pores wear pores who I've never met her. But Natasha helped us, you know, come back to reality that, you know, pores exist in our face. So thank you for that, Natasha. I I don't appreciate it at all. I have on the Pat McGrath um, mascara as well from when I did this um, eye look with the um, Carly Bible palette. But um, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. We just need to put on the lip gloss and then we can round up this Pat McGrath video. Y'all know as usual, I'll leave in the description box below how the products wore throughout the day and my thoughts on them. But we're going to put on Venomous now. And I started off wearing the lip balm from Pat McGrath. I have on the clear one, obviously, because I didn't want to put anything with color on and then have to put this on top. Because I feel like it would be nice and hydrating if I leave it the way it is. So, we're going to go ahead and put this on. I will swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see what it looks like. And then I will swatch it on the lips. So, it's really glittery. So, this is what it looks like. And we're going to go ahead and put it on the lips. I don't think I need a liner with this because it's just a gloss. But if I feel like I need a lighter, again, I'll put that on later and I'll tell you what it was in one of the photos on Instagram or something. But. Go 
gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I'm gonna sell this color. I immediately knew I needed it. I was like, yes, mother. Like, yes. Like, when Fenty made the gloss bombs and these type of colors, this is what I wanted to look like. This is the type of pigmentation I wanted. But, you know, I know that gloss bombs are made for that. So, like, I was fine with the pigmentation she came out with because, you know, that was the standard pigmentation. But what I love about Mother Pat's is, is like, you get all this sparkle and glitter and extraness like this. And I was just like, yeah. So, this is the finished face using the new skin fetish system by mother pat i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are diamonds i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>